we can keep it like this, we're going to win a lot of elections, that I can tell you. It's something. No, it's something. It's the economy, stupid. Did you ever hear that one? It's the economy. It is indeed. All right, the president choosing a Pennsylvania venue to grow about tax cuts that are sort of like the gift that keeps giving, even beyond some of his wildest expectations, signs now that Apple is crediting the tax cut for what will be a big investment in this country. Tens of billions of dollars, or $350 billion, we're told, over 10 years, and an upfront payment to the United States Treasury of $35 billion in taxes, as it brings home a lot of that loot abroad. Democratic strategist Chrissy Seltzer, along with market watchers Gary Kelpom and Melissa Armo. Um, Melissa, what do you think? Uh, he is saying that this is the trend that's the friend and that <laughs> it's going to be remembered as happening under a Republican watch, you say? Well, thanks for having me, Neil. Here's the thing. People forget that it's not just the fact that the market is bullish. The market is doing something very unique. In fact, for our viewers, the market has never, ever before power trended up. There's a difference between a rally and a bullish market and a power trend. And let me give you an example of what I mean. In eight trading days, the Dow hit over 25,000 and then went over 26,000. That, my friends, is a power trend. And it's a well, little bit hard to- Well, it could also be called a melt-up. Some people worry about that. And <laughs> it's always your, your position where you look at it. But Gary, the, what the president is saying is that unlike a, an AP story that seems to conclude this is all on Barack Obama, my immediate impression was, why can't we credit both? I mean, the bull market began uh, nine years ago in the, after a couple of months of Barack Obama. It continues right now under Donald Trump. Why can't they each take a bow? Under Obama, the market was very strong for eight years. I give him the credit. I don't give him much credit on the economy. For me, it was subpar. And I must tell you that the left basically blamed George Bush's recession on subpar. Now they try to take credit. Uh, for me, it's very simple. We have changed the structure of how government looks at business starting when Trump became president. And it's not just the numbers you hear. It's what you're hearing from people and how they feel. And you're seeing it. And this Apple thing was the cherry on top of the whipped cream on top of the cake and I can promise you we're going to now see a domino effect it's not just going to be Apple I think you're going to see probably 2,000 3,000 more companies over the next year or two doing the same thing Chrissy that could obviously keep a market rally going but that could go a long way to keep you know an economic recovery going what do you think um, I hope that it does uh, as as your other panelists have noted we had eight strong years of stock market and economy under President Obama that has continued somewhat under President Trump. Um, but we actually saw well, in 2017... Somewhat, right? Way, somewhat. Uh, somewhat. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, in 2017, no. we actually saw fewer jobs created than we had in the five previous years, right? All of which were obviously under President Obama. So I'm not discounting. There has been job growth. There's been a positive economy. Look, I'm happy to see the stock market doing well, but I think it's necessary to take some, you know, precautions as well, which is that well, we sometimes could be it's looking not, at 3% you know, plus growth. I mean, for an entire year, that wouldn't be too shabby, right? It would not be too shabby. Again, the I, the problem is that President Trump wants to say, unlike past presidents um, that would credit the American people or business or, you know, the economy is complex. President Trump likes to say, I alone can well, fix it. it I alone I love you dearly, but I no, do No, Obama wanna, never said I that. Take Obama you back. never said no, I wait, alone. Wait, 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 wait. No, I Obama said take we didn't build it. Remember he what? said you didn't build wait, it? Wait, I beg you to stop. Okay. Uh, this, I want to <laughs> quote Barack Obama by Barack Obama quoting Barack Obama a short time ago. Look at this. Yes. We saw the U.S. economy grow consistently. We saw the longest streak of job creation in American history by far. A streak that still continues, by the way. Thanks, Obama. Okay, so that was last month. But you know what I'm saying. Melissa, he, I, I always think with this stuff, uh, we blame presidents when the economy tanks. We might as well give them about when it goes their way. You might credit the Federal Reserve. You might credit other factors. I think both President Trump and President Obama can take a bow to this. And who's to begrudge just making money? What do you say, Melissa? Well, here, I'm going to say something to make everybody here happy today. 
The thing is that no one president actually can take credit for the growth of the economy. It's the policies Correct. that any president puts in place that can take growth for the, the economy. And the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve. Right. Right. That's right. So it's business owners like small business owners like me, big businesses like Fox, all of those people, working people, we are the ones that move the economy, people that buy goods and services. So the fact not is that... Not according to Donald Trump, right? Again, when the unemployment rate, when it was you know under 5% under President Obama, that was a fake rate. It was obviously a fiction. Now that it's also you know 4.5%, now under him, it's very, very real. But you yeah, can't so be the market you know, You're the market watch who uh, tries not to be red or blow about this. A lot of people are making a lot of money over the last nine years of this bull market. Do you see it continuing? Uh, I think right now, yes. And as I've said for a long time, the biggest worry longer term is this massive debt that continues to grow. That is uh, a headwind for the economy and could cause trouble down the road. But I really do believe we have changed the structure to pro-business. We are seeing lower taxes, less regulations, mandates going by the wayside. That is good news. And All when right. you speak to CEOs, when you speak to business owners, they are happy about what they're seeing. Hopefully it continues. All all right, feel the love, the bipartisan love. Guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. All right, Thanks, uh, now, there was a little wrinkle in this today in the prospect of the government shutting down, if even for a short time. Why Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul was okay with that? Because this was even worse, what they're debating now. He's next.